Hey everyone, we're live at bullbuster.net and today we're going to talk about choosing your fishing line for shark fishing. And a lot of you guys know we started out as a land-based shark fishing team, so we really, this is our roots, uh, shark fishing, and it's really why we got into the bulk fishing line game uh, and what, you know, what we've been doing for the past almost 10 years now. So we just wanted to get into and break down the different types of fishing line you need for if you're land-based shark fishing or if you're offshore shark fishing. And at the end of the day, size matters. So it really depends on the type of shark that you're targeting. So if you're fishing for, if you're getting started or if you're using lighter tackle and targeting sharks under six feet, you're going to do fine with 20 to 50 pound mono. And when you use mono, you're probably going to be wanting to use a conventional reel for land-based shark fishing. Now, you can use a spinning reel, but then you're going to probably want to use braid, and that's going to be 30 to 65 pound braid. So now we're going to bring it up one class size of a shark. So these are sharks under 10 feet, above 6 feet, under 10 feet. And a little bit of additional size, it's crazy, but it brings a lot of extra power. So for these type of sharks, you're really going to need to beef up your gear. So on the conventional side, you're probably going to be wanting to fish at least a 50 wide with 80 to 100 pound monofilament. And then uh, I'd still recommend a conventional reel and oftentimes actually backing under this monofilament. And in that case, you're going to probably going to want to use at least 80 to 100 pound braided fishing line. Now we're going to go to the 10 foot plus class shark. This is big game fishing on land, land based shark fisherman's ultimate goal. For this shark, you really need to beef it up. So with this shark, you really want to go heavy duty, heavy tackle, at least an 80 wide. Uh, and if you're using some of the older reels, at least like a 14 0. And you're going to want to use for monofilament 125 to 300 pound monofilament and with braid, 130 to 200 pound braid, and you're really gonna wanna lock down on these sharks. First, you're not gonna even catch them if you don't have this type of tackle. And if you do, it's a great feat. But the second and almost the most important thing is with these big sharks, these are the breeders. These are the sharks that are gonna replace the other sharks. They've, they've gotten to the point and the size where they can start creating little sharks. Uh, and yeah, and mating out there and, and creating a lot of sharks. So you really want to be using heavy tackle for this type of shark uh, because the release is going to be a lot better with a shorter fight time. And trust me, you're not going to mind because it's, it's going to beat you up to be, to be uh, fighting the shark for hours and hours. So really go heavy tackle on these sharks. Now, I want to go down into the location. Location, location, location. So you're going to spool your reel a little bit differently depending on where you're fishing. And the reason for this is there's just different type of structure. So if you fish a beach that has a lot of reef or a lot of rocks, you're going to want to use more mono. The same thing if there's structure nearby, if you're fishing from a bridge or there's crab traps or something around there, you're going to want to use mono. Mono is a lot thicker and it has a lot more abrasion resistance. So when it rubs against this sort of stuff, rocks, reef, pilings, crab traps, ropes, rubs against anything, you're going to want that extra diameter on the mono. Now, if you're targeting really, really big sharks and you have a you know, pretty sandy beach, pack the braid on. You're going to get a lot more line on there, and this is when you can add more braid. But remember, this, the first two spots, when you have a lot of structure around you, you're going to want to use more mono than braid. You can still use braid, but it's for the emergency only. And, and at that point, you're probably only going to want to put it on a quarter of your spool. So if you have that open sandy beach, go ahead, pack on the braid. But it is a lot less abrasion resistant than the heavy mono. Okay, so now getting into shark fishing from boats. So one of the advantages of fishing from boat for sharks is you get to use a lot smaller tackle for the same fish because you get to chase it. So, so yeah, so for this one, the size still matters. When you're, when you're fishing for sharks under six foot, we recommend 20 to 30 pound monofilament. When you're fishing for the same sharks, 30 to 50 pound braid is gonna do you good. Under 10 feet, mono 80 to 100 pounds, and braid 65 to 100 pounds. 
Now, when you get in this, the, the next, you know, the, the Mecca of the Sharks, the 10 foot plus, you're still going to want to go heavy tackle. You don't have to go as heavy, but it helps. So on the mono side for the 10 foot plus shark, uh, you're going to want to use 100 to 125 pound monofilament. And with the braid, you're going to want to use 100 to 200 pound braided fishing line. Uh, and one last thing to bring up, uh, depth matters. So if you're going to be fishing in areas where there's canyons, and you, and you can have potentially a shark going really, really deep, you're going to want to pack a lot more line on there. And in this case, you're going to probably want to use a lot more braided backing. So we recommend having at least three times as much line as the depth. Uh, so if you're fishing in the bays or, or coastal waters, that really doesn't matter. But when you get really deep, it does. And, and you want enough line that you can have your fish, uh, you can chase your fish and not get pulled in. And again, you're going to be using the boat to stay right on top of this fish, but it's something to keep in mind. You should have at least three times as much line as there's the depth, and you should have a good captain that's able to follow this fish well. All right, guys, thank you for coming on bullbuster.net, and if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. Go ahead and give us a subscription, and uh, hopefully we can have some good content for you, and ultimately, at the end of the day, we're a fishing line company, uh, we, we specialize in bulk fishing lines, uh, so you can save time and money when you order online. We only sell online. You get that wholesale price, that direct-to-consumer price, and our ultimate goal is to help you spend more time fishing. So tight lines, guys. Thank you for watching our video.